Hey guys, welcome to Max Studies. Let's explore basic principle of a pump. Let us try to understand. Consider a tank. Say it is tank 1 and it has some liquid. Or we can say a fluid and there is another tank 2. Now how to transfer the fluid from tank 1 to tank 2? Look at this image clearly. Tank 2 is at lower elevation with respect to tank 1. So it is very simple. We just need to connect these tanks, tank 1 and tank 2, with the help of a pipe with valve. Once you open the valve, the fluid will come from tank 1 to tank 2 by gravitation. See the fluid is transferring from tank 1 to tank 2. Let us consider few scenarios and transfer of fluids. Scenario 1. So tank 1 is filled with some fluid and tank 2 which is kept at higher elevation with respect to the elevation of tank 1. Now how to transfer the fluid from tank 1 to tank 2 when tank 2 is at higher elevation. If we connect a pipe and valve arrangement and open the valve do you think the fluid will transfer from tank 1 to tank 2? No, it will not transfer. So, we cannot transfer fluid from lower elevation to higher elevation without having a special arrangement or special equipment. Let's see the scenario 2. There's a vessel. It has some pressure. Say it is 2 bar. And another one vessel 2 which has fluid pressure of 5 bar. So how to transfer the fluid from vessel 1 to vessel 2? So do you think simple pipe and valve arrangement is possible here? No it cannot because if we connect these two vessels due to the pressure difference high pressure fluid will always come to the low pressure fluid. So the fluid will transfer from vessel 2 to vessel 1. So we cannot transfer fluid from low pressure zone to high pressure zone without a special equipment. Scenario 3. This is a tank filled with some fluid and there is another tank. It is empty. Now we have to transfer the fluid from tank 1 to tank 2. Here this tank 2 is at lower elevation. So we have seen if we connect this tank with the help of piping and valve arrangement. It is very easy by gravitation. So the fluid will come from tank 1 to tank 2. And say it takes to transfer the entire fluid from tank 1 to tank 2 5 minutes. Now what if, if we want to transfer the fluid within 1 minute? Is it possible with this piping and valve arrangement? No, we cannot transfer. To transfer the fluid within 1 minute what we have to do? We have to accelerate the transfer. So we can say we cannot accelerate the fluid based on the requirements without help of any special equipment. Scenario 4. So this is tank 1 filled with some fluid and tank 2. But this tank 2 is located at a distant area from the tank 1. So how to transfer the fluid from tank 1 to tank 2 which is located at a far away from the tank 1? Simple piping arrangement is not feasible here because there will be some losses in the pipe, maybe the elevation difference. So it is not possible to transfer fluid from tank 1 to tank 2 which is located at a far away distance from tank 1. So we cannot transfer fluid from one place to another for a long distance. Now let's try to understand all the scenarios and the basic principle of a pump. So in the first scenario, so this is a tank and this is a second tank. With the help of a pump, we can transfer the fluid from tank 1 to tank 2 even it has elevation difference. So low elevation to high elevation fluid transfer is possible with the help of a pump. Scenario 2. 
this is a pressure p1 and pressure p2 where p2 is more than p1 and we can transfer the fluid from low pressure zone to high pressure zone with the help of a pump scenario 3 see we can accelerate the fluid transfer with the help of a pump whenever it is required scenario 4 fluid can be transferred at a distant location with the help of a pump so in summary we can see pump means transfer of fluid from low elevation to high elevation low pressure zone to high pressure zone to accelerate the fluid and transfer of fluid from one place to another place even both are located at a distant location thank you so much please visit mixstudies.com